back to back another w3m video this time we're going to talk about is the dictionary function and also omnibar feature now i was playing around with the dictionary function and uh, you can actually run like external scripts with that and so that's why i came up with the uh, omnibar um, feature in here so we're going to talk about the dictionary first just to get it out of the way but uh, they do have a built-in dictionary and it you know it runs their own script but i didn't want to install like a local script um or a local dictionary to use it i just want to run um a curl command to get the dictionary word whatever it is um since i'm using a web browser i'm online anyway so that's what we're gonna do here All right so uh what we do so the hot key i got in here is just um if i want to look up something so at the bottom here you see that this is our address bar right uh, also our status bar right now, but it'll turn to our address bar in a minute here. If I hit the uh, leader D You see now it says uh, dictionary. So this is our dictionary function that they have in um, W3M Not a lot of people use it, you know, but we're gonna repurpose it to do Well, we're gonna do a dictionary and we're gonna do it for the only bar But basically this is your address bar here, right? Uh, so uh, you can type in like let's say um, telomere and this will search, um, or this will run a curl command because I didn't want to do like a local dictionary. I didn't want to install a local dictionary. So I'm just using curl and we use that dict protocol and it's grabbing from this uh, website here and you see it's searching telomere, right? And there you go, that's it. Um, so if I can do that with uh, any other word too, so if you, D, I'm gonna do, uh, what we got, uh, browser right then i'll search that browser oh one thing about this is um if you search in here or you do like a dictionary search try not put like you know plurals you know s and all that so let's say for example if i do um let's do that again here we do browsers with an s you know it has no matches so make sure you don't do like plurals or something like that um so that's it for the dictionary. It's not that hard, you know. Now that one is to type it in manually, right? You do like, you know, you type it in manually like in here. But if you are over a word, um, let's say, for example, what we got. Uh, let's say, for example, we have vintage here, right? We hover over this word vintage. And all you got to do is hit um, our hotkey, which is I sent mine to leader W here. And it will search that word, right? Leader W. Um, and now you have the word vintage. And I'll try to find all the matching stuff in here. Anyways, hit control. What was that shift B to go back here? Um, so you can do that with any other, you know, things on here. Let's say, for example, Netscape. Hopefully they find that. Leader W. All right, and look at that. It says uh, commercial browser. They actually know what it is. Um, Anything else? So that's how that works with the dictionary. <clears throat> a feature, like originally that's what's you know is designed to do. But we're gonna repurpose it to do the only bar feature. So you know what that is, is basically if you have a GUI web browser, I think all of them has um, this feature now. But usually, you know, you add just bars to type in, you know, your URL. But if you set it to a default web browser, um, you can just type in your keywords and I'll search it with your your default web browser. So for example, I search for Ubuntu Linux here All right, it'll search that you know Keyword in uh, your default um, search engine in this case is Google But if I want to do that in here uh, W3M we can just repurpose that um, You know um, Was it a uh, dictionary feature? to do other scripts. So that's what we're doing here. <clears throat> so for example, I'm gonna hit my high key, SG for Google, and it will still say dictionary, which is kind of annoying, but you know, that's what we gotta do here. So if I do, uh, what was it? Uh, we'll do Linux Mint. And look at that, we'll do Linux Mint, we'll do SG again, we'll do, um, I don't know, Fedora Linux. All right, so now we got Linux Mint, Fedora Linux. 
Uh, if I want to search uh, another search engine besides Google, I can do uh, SD for um, so DuckDuckGo. And I can do, like, let's say Red Hat Linux. <coughs> and there we go. We have, do we have a Red Hat? Well, let's do it again. SD. We'll do um, Arch Linux. How about that? There we go. All right. So um, if I want to do, um, <laughs> let's close this off. We got too many in here. If I want to do Bing, you want to do Bing? We got to we got to represent uh, Microsoft up in here. Um, what do we do? We search for Xbox One or something like that. All right. Look at that. Uh, you can do that. We do Yahoo. Straight up Yahoo. What do you got? Japan. Okay. We do like a uh, Nintendo Switch. If I spell it right. Yahoo up in here. All right. There you go. If I want to do like, let's say uh, Twitch, Twitch TV, we'll do <laughs> what we got. Um, Minecraft. I think people still do that in there. All right. Look at that. We got uh, some streams here. No, that one. This one is a live stream here. Okay. This one is. We can open it with MPV. And it should pop up a stream in a minute. Hopefully, there you go. Right. So we're watching MPV without using their website. Um, anything else? Actually, we'll close out this thing. We don't want to tax the computer here. Uh, so that's the Twitch. Straight up Twitch. What else we got? We got too many of this. But anyways, let's go to uh, the bindings here. Um, you can do YouTube on there too. If you want, um, what do I got in here? This one is YouTube. Let me see. As you for YouTube, this one is using, um, let's say my uh, Tmux videos or something like that. This one is using Nvidia's, which is like a YouTube front end. Look at this. If I do um, same thing with MPV, I get no ad revenue from this fucking thing. But um, you know, you can watch it on uh, Nvidia's here. And it should pop up my videos. So we'll see here in a minute. Look at that, my old videos. All right. Anyways, that's it for uh, that. Um, but as far as how you set this up, real simple. Let me uh, go to one that I'll explain to you here. We'll explain one of them and then you can understand the rest. So you do need to have your um, script, you know, chmod to be executable and all that. You need, you need to enable um, this local folder because by default it doesn't allow <coughs> this local folder to uh, run. So that's what we're going to do here to allow it. We also need to enable the dictionary because by default I think it's off, but we need to enable it. And as far as the key bindings, real simple, you just you know, bind it to a key. And um, this one will run the dictionary uh, function. And this is where you do your user input. This one uh, is another internal function that uh, W3 has, but this one is at the word uh, that your cursor is at, right? That we did. Um, so, for example, what we got. So, if you were at what we got here. So you were at um, what we got, man. No, that's horrible. So, for example, you know, that we did before with the dictionary, like if you hover over the word, let's say this is catalog here, we do a uh, leader W, and I'll try to find that word, right? But if you want to use it with the search engine, um, you can do it whatever search engine you want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to do this with um, Google here, S capital G on that word, and I'll just search that uh, catalog word, right? Real simple. Um, so, for example, if I want to search Xbox uh, on um, on DuckDuckGo, I do uh, S capital D, and I'll search Xbox on DuckDuckGo, right? Whatever the current word you're at, um, it'll do that. So, that's pretty much it for that, uh, you know, function. So, this is all the um, ones I've made so far, 
All right. Um, Bonnie to hotkey, and anytime like you you um, switch to a different search engine, it's just gonna replace it with a different um, CGI script. All right. Look at this here, different CGI scripts, and uh, that's how you repurpose that uh, dictionary function to do multiple things. Uh, instead of just one, like, you know, on, uh, the GUI web browser, you can only set it to one, um, you know, search engine by default. You cannot set it to like multiples when you're doing high keys or something like that. They don't do that. They're only, only one at a time. But with W3M, you can do multiples. And so this is the way I would recommend you use it now. And it's not using any, um, um, external commands. Uh, besides the dictionary one we're using curl but you're not using any dictionary just the uh, search feature look at the code here it's just like two lines of nothing right we're using back which is an internal wm feature and we're also using um open a new tab with tab go to here and it's just uh strings right we're just replacing strings with our query strings that's pretty much it to um do that right and you can do this with any uh, search engine you want, like Pirate Bay. Um, let me see here. We do a Pirate Bay SP here. We'll search for uh, some legit stuff. Uh, we'll do Ubuntu ISO. How about that? And there you go. Some uh, Linux stuff, which uh, they don't even give us uh, the, the the right results. Let's do another one. Uh, we'll do uh, Lead X here. We'll do. Ubuntu Linux. All right, another torrent site here. Anyways, uh, that's it for how you would set it up. Not that hard. So this one is for user input, right? Just lowercase uh, hotkeys. And this one is, uh, they have one uh, uppercase hotkey for whatever the word that your cursor is on. You can do a search from it from different search engines. Uh, besides Reddit, and Reddit is just going to directly to the site. So Reddit here, this one is SR. This one takes you directly to a site or directly to a subreddit. So for example, I do uh, Linux. This will take me to the Linux subreddit. If I do, um, you know, command line, this will take me to the command line subreddit. You get the idea. Uh, I'm also integrating this to, um, what was that? I'm, I integrate this into my um, FCF mural, so I can do that from here too. If I do uh, Omni bar search, and it's basically just piggybacking on that script that we just created, All right? So if I search for um, YouTube here, I can search for my name. I we'll do some Tmux, and you can open this with uh, MPV too if you want. Um, right get no ad revenue from this thing though but uh that's what we can do in here if you want to you know use straight up terminal um but mpv it's you know it is a gy app other than that you don't have to use it anyways uh is that it yeah just those two things uh as far as the fcf miru stuff uh probably add it later but uh get this video out right now just from uh this dictionary function that we can repurpose hopefully the you know the people that are doing like um features for w3m like the developers they can actually add like an um a dedicated one to do the omni bar feature but um right now we have to use you know this dictionary thing which is doesn't look pretty but it does the same thing you know you can do whatever search you want in here anyways that's it for this video uh, check it out and this is probably the way that I would recommend people use when you don't do a search engine I mean we did um, was that we did alias searches uh, that one takes a little bit longer we did a uh, smart search which is like a macros which uh, this way I really didn't like either because um, you actually have to open the site first and you have to find out like where the uh, search box is at which is kind of annoying if they ever change the layout um, so, you know, uh, the only bar feature is what I recommend. And the second option is, um, 
uh, was it Surfrob, which is a external program. Some people don't like to install an external program to do their searches, right? But um, you know, if um, you know, if you don't want to use Surfrob and you just want to use something that's um, kind of native, then you want to use these uh, Omni Bar here. I think that's like the best um, option when you're using just pure W3M, right? And we just have to create like a, a very simple script. It's not that hard. Anyways, long explanation, but try it out. See if you like it. That'll be it for this one.